Welcome back. Alhamdulillah wahda. Wa salatu ala ala nabiyya ba'da. So we're here now at, uh, at session nine, Islamic Bathics uh, of, I should say Islamic Bathics, not Islamic Bathics ethics, but Islamic Bathics of abortion and human reproduction, um, which is another hot topic these days. Uh, so this session is going to wade into these tricky and nuanced waters. Um, but again, the focus is on how you might implement that in your own practice, how you might implement that in your conversation with community members and your own self-understanding. So the two main questions, what are the dominant Islamic ethical legal positions on abortion? And then what are the dominant Islamic ethical legal positions on assisted reproductive technology? The idea that I want you to kind of think about and ponder over as you read the look at the videos and read the readings is how do Muslim jurists and physicians think about abortion? Is it the same way or is it differently? Right? That will help inform your own uh, application of the jans. So what's interesting for us, right, for an Islamic by this course is that the social reality informs the political reality here. The social reality around how individuals view abortion and the rights of abortion. Uh, and which rights are infringed and which rights are advanced is becomes a political question. Then that leads to certain candidates uh, who voice that social reality or that perspective on social reality, which then leads to judgments. The same happens with Islam, right? In a certain sense. Um, or Islamic bioethics must engage with, let me amend my statement, Islamic bioethics must engage with the social and political realities. Uh, if it does not, it is incomplete. The empirical informs in certain ways the normative in bioethics, right? Um, but does the empirical understanding inform our normative interventions? Last session you talked about, we talked about the Islamic bioethics intervention on organ donation. We need empirical data to understand what the knowledge gaps were, what the questions of our import were to then create an intervention. Uh, legal permissibility was not the only question that people were interested in, being Islamic legal permissibility. So the empirical then inf interacts with the normative, the normative then cycles back to from the sociological, right? So when we want to put together Islamic bioethics and the practical register, we have to engage with all these in a holistic way. Otherwise, we're not doing we're not doing justice to the practical questions at the bedside. Or in the